Happy New Year! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing a really exciting review video for you all today. Cut Revolution are releasing new concealers. These are the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealers. And I'm going to be testing these out today. These aren't actually out as I'm filming this. I went into my local Superdrug and luckily they were stocking these little buttes so I was able to get one. But they are officially launched from the 3rd of January, I believe. Don't quote me if that one's wrong. Now it will be available on the Superdrug website and the Tan Beauty website, which is just Makeup Revolution's official website. So obviously I will leave the links and all that good stuff in the description bar below. Also, if you are new to my channel, then feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also feel free to tap the bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. And without further ado, I'm just going to roll onto the video. Firstly, I'm just going to roll through the packaging. As you can see, the packaging is really, really pretty. It has this rose gold packaging at the top and it also has rose gold where like the writing and the logo sort of stuff is. Off the top of my head, I think this retails at something silly like £4 so it is incredibly affordable. The packaging doesn't look that cheap. I think the packaging is actually like a 10 for me as well. Let's try and open it up. Where the fuck the scissors? Aha. So excuse the fact that I'm wearing this really big baggy jumper. I did tweet this morning. Don't follow me on Twitter. My Twitter will be on there. Say, our girls look cute in big baggy jumpers, but I genuinely look like a bin bag. Ta-da! I have already done my foundation. Where have I put it? And for foundation, I use my Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm actually quite liking this at the moment. I like mixing it with my Elf foundation. I think together it just works. So this is in the shade. Hold on. I think this is like the lighter shade. Yes, it's in the shade 110. I think this is the second to lighter shade. Hashtag relatable. I haven't concealed or anything, but I have done like my bronzer and stuff like that. I got this one in the shade C1. Also going to compare this concealer to... Well done, Becca. Let's try that again. I'm going to compare this concealer to this concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Want Fair. And then I'm going to compare it to this Makeup Revolution one so you can kind of see the difference between both of them. Pretty much retail at the same price. They are both drugstore. We all love a bit of drugstore. And they are both cruelty free. Can I get a hell yeah? They're definitely not dupes for each other, but I feel like this is one of the most talked about drugstore concealers as it is. I figured why not compare it to this little one? Becca and her... What's the word? Ingenious. Unique ideas so now that we all know that i'm blind and i literally can't see yet i'm gonna move on to concealer Let's see what this one looks like shall we oh it's like quite thick and big but i quite like it let's see how well it brightens up my under eyes i have baggy eyes i've been very tired at the moment Oh wow. Formula definitely is thick, which is promising. That's a sign of a coverage concealer. So let's try blending it in and see how well it blends. Okay, so that definitely brightens up my under eyes. So that one's the one with the concealer and that one's the one without the concealer. And what I love about this is that it's actually lighter than my skin tone, which means that I have a concealer that brightens up my under eyes. If anyone's pale like me, you'll know that pale people problems is not having a light enough concealer that brightens your under eyes. That has done that perfectly. Let's go with another layer. Right, where have I put it? Also, before I go through another layer of concealer, I don't know if you can see, but look at my new put cushion. It's from Dunelm and I've been waiting for it to go in the sale for so long and it lights up as well. Not lit up at the moment because I haven't put batteries in it because I'm poor and I can't afford batteries. Right, I'm going to stop rambling and just go on do another layer of concealer. So far, it's quite good coverage. Literally four pounds. I think this might be my new favourite drugstore concealer. More coverage was definitely created with like a new layer. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to like this concealer because I'd heard like so many people hype about it and like Makeup Revolution have hyped it up so much. I haven't really watched any videos on it yet because obviously it's not been released yet but honestly that has brightened up my under eyes so well. Let's compare it to the Lasting Perfection. To be fair, I am very fair skinned and this is not very much brighter than my skin tone. I've just realised that that sentence probably didn't make any sense, but in my head it did, okay? I've also realised that I talk way too much. Maybe that's my problem. That side is Makeup Revolution. I'm really hoping you can tell on camera. That side is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. And honestly, that side brightened up so much better than that side. And off the top of my head, I think this is a little bit more cheaper. I think it's like 20 pence cheaper, but it's still cheaper. Let's just play this fair. Fair. Get it? Pun. <laughs> Let's just go in with another layer of Collection Lasting Perfection like I did with the Makeup Revolution one. So far, I'd say that one is definitely more full coverage than that one though. 
considering my under eye bags are really really bad because I'm exhausted at the moment I've literally just slept for 12 hours that side is a winner 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 chicken dinner I'm just gonna powder over it quickly because we don't want it to crease. And I'm going to powder it using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder. And I can never open this packaging. But I did get this for Christmas. So if you haven't watched my What I Got For Christmas video, it will be in the link up here. And my eyes watering because I've just stabbed myself in the eye with my powder. And my eyes are very, very sensitive. I am living for this. Luckily, I don't really struggle with like spots or blemishes. So I don't really have anything on that side to cover up. I'm just going to like conceal this part, this part, this part. Don't ask me what the technical names are. I'm not going to even go into it. I'm just going to conceal and define. Secret Revolution it hit me up with a job because that was punny. I don't even care. I'm just like lobbing this anywhere because I'm so down. Secret Revolution, you've outdone it again. It feels so much brighter. Like my face just feels so much brighter and so much more ready for the day. Come on, Nick. Stay not matte but not flat. Let do with this. I'm so impressed by like how this is like defined my features. Oh my gosh I am living for this concealer. Glasses back on. I'm no longer fully blind. I just think that it's also worth pointing out before like you all go, I don't know, crazy, not crazy about this. No, this video is not sponsored. No, Makeup Revolution did not send me this. I am part of their like PR sort of thing. This is not sponsored. They don't even know that I'm making this video. I did buy this with all my hard-earned money. <laughs> when I say hard-earned, I mean hard-earned. Have you ever worked in retail at Christmas and Boxing Day? Because it's just absolutely manic. Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer is good. I'm not gonna say it's not good. I wouldn't say it's a light enough shade to brighten up my under eyes, whereas this one is. Because it is full coverage, it's bright enough for my eyes. Hallelujah. And it's super, super affordable. I need some highlight in my life. So, for highlights, I'm gonna be using another Makeup Revolution product. Once again, it's not sponsored, but I'm gonna be using the Soph X Makeup Revolution Highlighter Palette. Everyone and their dog has been wanting this recently, and I'm not surprised. This is just I've even hit pan on this one. But for this, I'm just gonna spray my brush because why not? I'm feeling extra. It's now 2018. It's the year of feeling extra. Once again, glasses off. I'm now blind. Blinded by your grace. Lord, I've been broken. I can't sink. I can't sink. This works so well with the concealer. Yay! And then lastly, I'm gonna set everything in place and I'm gonna set it in place. I'm going to set everything in place using the Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Fixing Spray. Because if we're going to do a Makeup Revolution video, we might as well just use pretty much all Makeup Revolution products. Just going to uh, cool my face down. Woo! So, I am actually now going to get ready and go to work. So, I won't be able to do like a hourly sort of check-in, which is what I kind of wanted to do for this video. So, I'm really, really sorry about that. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash it a big massive thumbs up. So, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you do also tap the bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. Once again, if you do want to pick up this concealer, then I will leave the link to where you can buy it in the description bar below. Also, for all my USA peeps, I don't know if anyone from the US is watching this, but if you are, hi, shout out. This will also be available in Ulta stores in America, and I'm pretty sure Makeup Revolution also now have a American website, so I will leave the link to that in the description bar below. You know that they have announced that this will be available in America, so if you're American and you like Makeup Revolution, then they got you. Once again, thank you so incredibly much. Once again, thank you so incredibly much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!